Hello folks, I have a crusty old garage door that's looking like your mom and needs a serious makeover. The door is more boring and flat than the state of Indiana. There are chipped areas on the surface and dirty and stained spots all over the place. It's the main feature I see when walking up to my house. And with some elbow grease and less than $100, we can make this thing look pretty. Stick around for my mistakes and lessons learned at the end. First, we need to prep the surface. I yanked some random old screws and nails out from the trim Gave the trim a quick vacuum to get the dirt and spider webs out of the way, and then sanded down the chipped areas until they were smooth, and then gave the rest of the door surface a quick sanding as well. After a power wash of the trim and the rest of the door, we were ready to roll, pun intended. This is the paint I used, which has been holding up pretty well so far. I used quarter inch nap rollers since my surface was flat, and I taped off the bottom weather strip so it would stay black. I threw the first thick coat of paint on and I finished one horizontal panel at a time because I couldn't get to the edges of the door when it was closed. So after I finished the front of each panel, I lifted up the door so I could finish the outer edges of the door without the trim getting in the way. Modest is hottest, so I'll spare you from my upper hamstrings as I finish rolling these edges. This is what it looked like after one coat, but a second was definitely necessary. So I continued the same process, one panel at a time, and finished the edges with the door lifted once I finished the surface of each individual panel. Now onto the trim. I taped my siding to protect it from an unwanted ice cream paint job, and then used a brush on all of the trim surfaces. Some were plastic, some were metal, but this paint adhered pretty well to each of them. Here's what the door looked like after both coats were done, and now it's time for the special sauce. Jeff Bezos was kind enough to deliver a package of magnetic fake window panes and brackets to me, but he didn't know that my door was not magnetic. So I used double-sided tape to work around his mistake. I started by mounting the brackets, and then experimented with the layout of the window panes. I tried to combine them into one, but it looked terrible, so I decided to go with the classic small panes with trim in between look, minus the trim. So how to perfectly place the window panes throughout the whole front surface. I whipped up a little template to help me place the fake windows consistently, and I nailed my little crucifix together until the body of Christ compelled me, and we were almost ready to place these windows. But first, we measure. I made little marks evenly throughout the top where I would eventually perform the very well-spaced exorcisms. I continued casting out these demons across the top surface of the door until the miracle was complete. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Unless you're within 20 feet, you really can't tell that all of this is just makeup on a pig. It looks legit unless you're really paying attention. Definitely worth the money and time to me. So what would I do differently next time? First, the plastic molding on the bottom was peeling off in a few areas. I tried stapling it, oh, which was a dumb idea and it cracked. Just use glue if you're dealing with plastic. Second, take $3.30 to put down a drop cloth when you're painting. I got cocky and ended up having to spend a ton of time power washing paint off my driveway. I wish you luck on your house projects. Comment if you have any questions about what I did or if you've taken a different approach. Subscribe to my channel if you're a below average Joe or Joanne, like me, but still want to get your hands dirty. Hope you have a great day.